Hello, everyone. Welcome to the live. I don't see any viewers right now, but we're going to go ahead and start with this video. I had um, I was supposed to go live about an hour ago, but I had to get my kids together, y'all, because they were not letting me be great. So if you can tell or if you can't tell by the title of this video, we're making fried fish using banana blossoms. So we're going to be using banana blossoms um, to make fried fish. Now, let me give you a little bit about um, a little info about banana blossoms. So they're known as a banana heart. It's a fleshly, fleshy purple skin flower shaped like a tear, and it grows at the end of a banana fruit cluster. It's traditionally used in Southeast Asian and Indian cooking. So... <laughs> If we haven't been using it, y'all, we've been asleep. But anyway, we're going to fry it today. I do have some oil in the um, stove, um, in the pot. I'm using some grapeseed oil. Y'all, if the lighting is bad, please excuse the lighting. And y'all, please excuse my smoke detector because I'm only five foot something and I need a ladder to change it. My husband can't reach it either. So we have our batteries. We just got to change it. So if y'all hear that beat, excuse it, y'all. I'm just being honest. So I have some oil in here, y'all. Some grapeseed oil because it has a um, high tolerance for um, high heat. It's able to take some high heat. So what I'm going to do, because I forgot to get all my seasonings out. So I'm going to do that now. I think that's all I need from this end. Move y'all around with me so y'all can see what I'm doing. And I am going to get out what I will always season my fish with, um, some lemon pepper. And I might use a little bit of garlic. And maybe seasoned salt. So I do have some shrimp Cajun seasoning. And uh, Creole seasoning, if you like a spicy fish, you can definitely use that. But today I'm going to keep it real simple because I really want to get that fish-like taste more than anything. So let me raise y'all up a little bit. This light right here is like really glaring, but it's okay. We're going to get through it. So y'all, I got some flour, some all-purpose flour in a... Um, little baking dish and you can add some baking powder to it because a lot of people have done they have done this recipe y'all they have used um baking powder or baking soda because they make more of a um beer battered fish so if you don't like to use the alcohol maybe you're using it or cooking this dish for some kids you can use baking powder or you can use baking soda. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of baking powder, just about a teaspoon of it. And y'all, this is going to be my wet batter. Because what I'm going to do is dip my banana blossoms. Y'all, I'm using this can this brand, by the way, um, Chowco brand. This blossoms in a brine. Now, when I first made this, I didn't use it in the can. I used it fresh from the plant, from the flower. So I had to peel the leaves back and y'all, the whole thing is edible. So that's a good thing too. I didn't know that. So anyway, my grease is getting hot and I don't want it to overheat. Although it's um, grape seed oil. My kids are outside playing, out my hair, out of my way. So... Let's get on with this, this live, y'all. So Nori for cocky, y'all. It's called Nori Comey for cocky. But I call it Nori for cocky. Y'all, this right here is the business. When I tell you, it's rice seasoning. And um, it's used to give your food that fish-like or seafood-like flavor. And it's normally used with um, sushi. 
when they put it on, they'll season the rice with it and roll it up in the seaweed wraps. But that's all it is. It's seaweed and sesame seeds in this particular one. But my local local Asian market, they have um, the salmon flavor taste, like salmon flavor. And it's another one I can't remember, but I really love salmon. So I'm going to get that one next. But I'm going to sprinkle my um, all-purpose flour with that little bit of baking soda. I'm going to sprinkle it with some of this. And let me see if I can bring y'all in to see this, see what I got going on right here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yes, there we go. I'm glad y'all get to see because I would have been hurt if y'all missed it. So I didn't put too much in it. Um, this, mind you, is my wet batter and I want the whole thing because you know it's good to season your flour because that bread is what's really going to get off the flavor. So I'm going to go in it with that. You can use seasoned salt or you can use pink Himalayan salt. I have a whole thing of pink Himalayan salt, but honestly, I don't feel like looking for it. I'm going to use a little bit of it in here, but I'm not going to use it on the banana blossoms. I'm going to use some roasted garlic, just a little bit. I'm going to use some lemon pepper. Ooh. I think I tried to do that because I like lemon pepper, so that's fine. And y'all, I'm going to give this a little bit of a whisk. See if I can get your fork real quick. Or a spoon. And I am going to start it around. And y'all, you can... Um, Turn this into some buttermilk fried fish by adding a little bit of unflavored almond milk to this. Or you could just um, add you some water in here. Mind you, if you add water, it is going to kill out the flavor just a little bit. So you may want to consider adding a little bit more seasonings to it. But I've made this before, so this is good for me. Um, I'm going to bring y'all back up here. While I grab me a bowl, because most importantly, y'all, we got to marinate these just for a little bit. It's not going to take much because the breading is already absorbing that flavor. It's going to take in that flavor from the breading because we seasoned it. So we're going to sit this to the side. And I'm getting me a bowl. I don't have all day, so maybe I'll just give me a pot. And I am going to open up my can of banana blossom. Y'all, if y'all didn't see me wash my hands, I'm sorry, because I washed them off camera. So just know my hands clean. They are clean. Washing off my um my can here. We don't know who grabbed this can before we had it and we don't want no germs. <laughs> okay. So I'm washing that off, wiping it off, and I'm going to open it, y'all. I'm excited because, like I said, I made this before, but I made it um, from the actual flower itself. So it was this purple. Let me see if I can pull up a picture for y'all. Let me see if it's on this can. We're going to get into it. So... Y'all just give me a minute. Let me see if I can pull it up for y'all. Pull up what this looked like. For those that may not have ever seen it, it's a flower, it's a plant. I read it off, read off um what it is a little minute ago, the beginning of this live. Let me see. Here's the picture. If y'all could see that. So I literally had the flower and it's so pretty when you open it up, when you peel those petals back, it is so beautiful. Y'all, but anyway, inside are these and we're going to go ahead and open it because I'm teasing y'all right now. So let's get this open. Come on, muscles work. Let me let y'all see what this looks like. I'm excited because I've never had it in the can. Pop this lid open. I might be a little disappointed. Hold on, y'all. 
Okay, I have my pan. I'm going to turn this water on because I'm going to need to rinse them off. So, y'all, this is what I have. This is what it looks like. You know, it looks kind of flaky. So, that means I'm going to have to do a little extra work because when I had this before, they looked just like what's on the front of this picture. They were all put together, just laid out. But that's cool because what I'm going to do is drain this brine and I'm going to rinse it off. And then we're going to put it in that um, pot. I'm going to let y'all see that. And then I'll season it with the nori fricati, some other stuff. And we're going to shape them up. And I'm glad we got the wet batter because that's going to help keep um, everything put together. And then we'll go from there. So let me get this. It doesn't have a smell to it. So that's a good thing because what I would imagine is if it had a smell to it, that means that we would have to really, really try hard to get um get that flavor out of it. If it had a smell to it, it would more than likely um take that flavor of what it smelled like. Y'all know what I'm saying. So I'm gonna just go ahead and dab dry. So let me show y'all what this looks like. And see, I can see the art in this already. If you can't, it's okay because I'm going to show you. You see that flakiness? We're going to piece these pieces together. The entire flower is edible. It has no taste. Whatever taste and flavor you give it, y'all, that's what it's going to be. So I'm going to pat this dry with my paper towel. Another tip for y'all is if you ever get a fresh um, flower, a fresh thing of banana blossom, and it's black on the inside, no ma'am, throw it away. Throw it out because obviously it's old. So get some more paper towels. Here, y'all, we want to dab this thing dry. Dab it, dab it, dab it. So we can get cooking, y'all. I did turn my grease down, so if anybody may be wondering, it's okay. I think I'm going to just take it off the, the eye. I'm dabbing it and no paper towel is getting left behind, so it's not getting stuck to it or anything like that. Just dabbing up that water. I could have easily squeezed this out, but I thought it would have been a lot easier to do it this way. It's okay to leave a little bit of um, liquid on it. That's fine. Bring y'all back up to par. So let me throw this out and we're going to season this thing. Oh, yes, ma'am, honey. Now, this even has what I would consider the spine. It has the spine in it. So I don't know if I want to eat that part. So we'll see. Let's sit this oil off in the cut. Turn that off for now. Because by the time we season this thing up, let me let y'all see what I'm doing. Um, It'll be time to get that oil back on the stove. It may look like I'm adding a lot, but I want the fish taste. And y'all, this stuff is so good. If you never had it, and if you've been asleep, the Asian markets have a lot of vegan plant-based like things. Put a pinch of garlic because I normally don't season it. Season my fish with garlic because once upon a time we ate fish. But y'all, when I found this alternative, I was like, oh yes, ma'am. Oh yes, ma'am. Um yeah, this is this is really good, y'all. I've had it before, like I said. The kids tried it; they loved it. They're outside playing. I hope they stay outside while I am trying to um, do this live. But if not, you will hear from them real soon. That's called the life of a mommy. So it's all good. 
So y'all, oh my gosh, it smells good. It smells like some kind of seafood. Mm. I hadn't had anything to eat, but I'm telling you, that smells good. So anyway, I'm going to add some water. I think I'm going to add a little bit. No, I'm not going to do the milk. I'm going to stick with the water. Add a little bit of water to this flour that's been sitting over here. Just kind of whisk it and get a batter. If you add too much water, it's okay. You can always um, add more flour. So my mama taught me how to cook, y'all, and we never measured anything. So it's kind of, you know, this is literally cooking from the heart. Nothing is ever measured. It is what it is. You, you eyeball everything. If you measure y'all to cook, that's totally fine. That's how you do it. If that's how you learn, that's how you learn. But me personally, see, my batter is a little thick. That's what happens when you don't measure. Sometimes we make mistakes. Let's put some more water in. Probably about a, about three-fourths of, of a cup. I know my measurement, but I don't measure. So I don't get it twisted. So anyway... We are looking for this to be thin enough to absorb the um, banana blossom, but not too thin to where it is watery. And then you basically are frying uh, water and little bitty pieces of banana blossom. Y'all, this is going to be good. I know y'all ready for me to go ahead and fry it. Don't worry. Don't worry. I am coming, honey. This is good. Me and my lighting. It's okay. Look, let's see if y'all can see this. Hold on. Let me see if y'all can see this. Oh, thank you, Lord. That's good right there. And it may thicken up just a little bit. So if you feel like you should add more, Good. Add more. For me, I'm going to leave it there. So, make sure that's not hot. So, now, y'all, we're ready to dredge. Time to combine it all together, y'all. Let's look at this. Okay, let's see if I can bring y'all in. Put something here. And put something here. And get me a plate. Because I wasn't prepared 100%. Um, but it's okay. This is clean. This is going to be for when the fish comes out. So let's get us some paper towels. And lay it in this plate. And I don't think I'm going to use this. All right, y'all, excuse me for stepping away. I had to get a plate to put these on. So I'm going to put my hot oil back on and get it back right. I just want to show y'all how I do one of these. So like I said, the entire fl um, flour is edible. So you can literally take this piece, just this piece alone, and dip it in your wet. Y'all, guess what? I don't have my fish fry. I didn't get my fish fry out, so that's what we need. I'm like, wet batter, I don't want to do a beer batter. I want to do a fish fry. It's called fried fish. That's what's on the, the caption. So let me get the fish fry. It only took a second. I put my fish fry in here because I pretty much recycle what I no longer use. So all I need is a bowl. Get my phone out of the way. Move some things around. I no longer need this. That's another thing my mama taught me to clean as you go. So I'm 
flipping because I have so many things in the way that I don't need in the way. But that's okay. So I just want y'all to see what I have going on. Let me get the bowl. Um, oh. Perfect. Now I'm ready. So let me show y'all what I'm doing. Okay. So in the dredging station, I'm going to put, I don't want to put it too low, but I'm going to add some of this. This is just some regular fish fry. Um, I think it's a Louisiana brand. I'm going to add some of that in here. This does not need to be seasoned, just for those that may not know. Oh, Trent, you say you need to get her to try the recipe. It's easy, and I know that you, she, I know that y'all will love it. The kids will love it, so I appreciate that. Now, let me let y'all see what we got going on right here. So, I kind of went ahead a little bit, but you can see this one kind of sunk under. You just dip it in here. Trying to get all that excess batter off. And then you just dip it in the dry batter. Wet, dry. Let the bowl do the work. And let's see. Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, I might have to see if I could take it out of this grease, this oil, honey, because the way that thing fry matters. When I tell you it matters, it matters. Um... We're going to do that in a minute. Let me just get some together. Just get them right. Get them right. And lay it on this plate. Now, because some of these are broken apart, some of them are whole, and that's fine. This right here, <laughs> this will be really good, y'all. This part right here, we're going to dip, put it in the dry, sit it to the side. Not all of the pieces will stay together, and that's where you grab a collective few. Like, you grab a few of them at a time. Turn that grease down. We don't want it too hot now. Great seed or not. So, you see how I put these few pieces together? It may seem like it's some work, y'all, but it's worth it. You don't feel like overly stuffed. You don't feel like you just ate a whole lot of grease. You feel good. Everything is plant-based. You feel really good after eating and it tastes good. I wouldn't lie to you because I love food. Anybody that went to school with me or know me back from back then, I didn't gain weight just because. I gained weight because I like to eat, okay? I'm just trying to eat healthier. That's what I'm trying to do now. So I, I took out three pieces, y'all. I just want y'all to see these three pieces going to this grease. Um, and I'm going to see if I can get y'all over there. Let me wash my hands real quick. I'm going to see if I can get y'all over to this grease. If I can't, I'm sorry. Because what I'm using is, um, I should have went live on both my phone and my laptop, but I'll know next time. So anyway, let's look at this. Okay, so we got the grease here. Oh, I get to bring y'all with me. I'm excited. So I'm taking, y'all see me, a piece. This is a spine piece, y'all, but look at how. Look at that. I like to let it um, sit in it for a little bit. That help build that crunch, and it it helps um, the fish to not float directly to the bottom and stick to the pan. So we're gonna go in with the rest of them. And the good thing about doing a wet batter first is that if the crunchy batter falls off for whatever reason, because it shouldn't, then you'll have that that dry batter on there. Y'all, 
that's probably going to take about, see, when I did it with the fresh fruit, the fresh flour, I'm sorry, it took about five minutes. So I would say as long as this crust up, you know, you get that crunchy outer piece, outer layer to it, it should be about two and a half minutes because these are more tender than um, getting it directly from the plant. Of course. So that's like if you had cabbage, you know, the first head of cabbage, you have to cook it down in order for it to become tender. But if it's sitting in brine and soaking in water all day, like sauerkraut, you know, you don't have to really cook it down because it, it's tender. It's getting tender inside of the um, inside of the can or in the jar or whatever it's in. Look at this piece, y'all. This is already put together. Dip. I'm gonna dip this. Yes, honey. Get it in the dry batter. Yeah, look at that. Already, already. Let me use my wet napkin. Already, these are looking marvelous. Y'all, it's golden and it's so. I'm telling you, you will think you eat some fish. You will think that you're eating fish because it tastes like fish and it looks like it a little bit. Even if you were doing like catfish nuggets, you can kind of get these pieces and add you some flour to it. And they have these real, really thin shreds, y'all. So if you see something hanging, I promise you it's not hair. Um, but even if you got a couple of pieces, y'all, and put it into a little ball or like a salmon um, patty, you could absolutely do that. Dip it in the batter, roll it in some flour, deep fry it. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to let the ones that are coming out, I'm going to take them out, and I'm going to make some tartar sauce, quick tartar sauce to go with this. So we're going to take these out. Y'all need to see this one piece right here. It looked like a whole fillet, little whole piece of fillet fish. Yes, it's hot, but I got the hands for this, honey. Not too much, too long, but I have the hands for it. So, y'all, that's fish. Don't tell me that ain't fish because it is. If you tell me it's not fish, I'm going to tell you you're wrong because <laughs> that is fish. When I tell you, okay. And if it don't taste like it, then something wrong with me. And it's not. So <laughs> that lets you know. Yes. Yes, honey. That lets you know that, that it's legit. Put that other piece in there. And I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands again. What'd you say, Darielle? Yes. It looked good and it tastes good. I wish y'all could taste it because I can't make this up. I'm not sponsored by uh, the brand or by the plant itself. Y'all, it's good for real. The last time I made it, I had it with um, some French fries. Obviously, you could pair it with that or like for the kids or maybe some grits or even broccoli and cheese. Vegan cheese and some grits. Okay. Let me wash my hands. I can't make it up, y'all. It is legit the business. When I tell you it's good, it's really good. So, 
I'm going to make some tartar sauce and I kind of want to move this out of the way. I have a lot more to make because I'm making it for the kids as well. So I'm going to set everything to the side and clean up as I go. And I'm going to make some quick um, tartar sauce. Let me get this stuff cleaned up real quick. Uh oh, somebody mommy, child. Mommy, uh -oh, somebody child coming in. Mommy, I'm hot. You're hot. You want something to drink? What's wrong, my baby? I'm just running and I'm hot. Do you know mommy doing a video? You know that, and you still came in and wanted to come through. Okay. Well, let me get you some drink. Give me just a second. Well, why are you doing a video? Because I want to. And you want to cook? I love cooking. You know that. You like to eat? Yes. Okay. Well, let me finish cooking. Uh, cereal and my, my yeah. blue bowl. Okay. And, um, so we just turned this piece of fish over. And um, Sean, can you put this in the pantry for mommy? Oh, I already did that. Can you do it again, please? Thank you. Let me get you something to drink. Pantry, right here. Yes. I know. I know. Oh, look at this piece. Move back, move back. You don't come up on the stove. You know that. Let me get him something to drink because if not, he will parade and rain on my parade. Parade around and rain on my parade. Let me get you a little bit of drink. And I need you to go back out with the kids, okay? Why do we have three in there? Why do we have three? Because we have to have drink. Here, go outside. Mm. Sorry, y'all. I had to get my baby out of here and get him something to drink before, like I said, before he come for me. I needed him to go back out with the kids. So, anyway... Let's get into this tartar sauce. So, this right here is Hellman's Vegan. I don't know why I had to read it, but it's Hellman's Vegan um, Mayo and Dressing. This is so good. This is so good. Um, I always did like mayo, but I never liked eggs like that. So, to find a mayo that tastes good, and um, it's safe to eat and you don't have to worry about your stomach hurting afterwards. Y'all, this is good. This is the truth right here. And I'm not sponsored by Publix. I just want to say that. But Publix often has it on sale. Um, buy one, get one. So anyway, that was that. But I just wanted to give praise to the men. I'm not sponsored by Hillman's either. So um, I just wanted that to be known. So we are going to make some relish. I mean, not relish, but some um, tartar sauce. And of course, it has relish in it. So take about a teaspoon. I don't like a whole lot of relish, but I'm making it um, for the kids. So I'm going to do two teaspoons of relish. Um, and... A tablespoon to about three tablespoons of the mayo. Um, before you really, really, really stir it to the fullest, um, I like to add garlic and lemon pepper in mine. So I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of garlic. You see, can you see that? Sprinkle a little bit of garlic. As much as your heart desire. You know what? If you like garlic, go heavy on the garlic. It's it's tartar sauce. But if you want to change the taste of tartar sauce, you are more than welcome to change the taste of tartar sauce. Who said you can't? I add lemon pepper on almost everything. So lemon pepper. Yes, and it's really good. Um, What else did I want to add? Oh, a pinch of sugar. So... 
Yeah. Let me get a little bit of, where is my sugar, y'all? I don't even know. A little bit of cane sugar. Let me grab that. Keep it in that container, just a little bit of sugar. You can completely leave the sugar out. You do not have to add the sugar. Um, just a teaspoon of it. I'll put that sugar up in a minute. And then you just want to stir it. Now that is um, pure cane sugar, so it's vegan friendly. And um, what trends, where do you get your uh, vegan products from? Oh. Um, most vegan, most of the vegan products that I get come from Publix. Yes, y'all, Publix are on the map because, uh, <laughs> I ain't gonna say no names, so I'll leave it alone, but not all stores, um, have vegan products, but I think that, you know, society is becoming hip to the fact that a lot of people are going plant-based or vegan. So they are trying to um, fill their stores with vegan friendly products. I get uh, most of them from Publix, but also from um, a local store we have here called Chamberlain's. It's a whole food store, but it's pretty small. Um, but they do have a lot of plant-based, vegan friendly, organic um, products there. And then they also, I also go to Whole Foods, which we don't have one here in the city that I'm in, but I do go to a local, a city that's not, you know, too far and get it from there as well as um, Trader Joe's. I think I'm gonna do a Trader Joe's haul. It wasn't, the store wasn't what I thought it was gonna be, but they they had some stuff, so it wasn't the worst, but it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. So, y'all, this is the tartar sauce right here. Oh, if you could see it, like, let me be great. Yeah, this is the tartar sauce. Now, um, what I was saying about the um, pure cane sugar, it's vegan friendly. You can kind of see it in the background right there. Um, you can use that, but it's um, not it's not in liquid form form so you can make it into a simple syrup and then add it to your tartar sauce or you can use agave nectar because that's good um that's a good sugar replacement or maple syrup as long as it's vegan friendly i just saw a fruit fly because i just got rid of some fruit so uh yeah and this is it so my kids are trying to come in. You know. That's a great idea, Trent. I think I'm going to do that. I think so. That is an awesome idea. Do a video shopping for vegan products. It's coming. It is coming. Let me show y'all how I would plate this up, honey. Or not necessarily how I plate it up because... It's only the fish up here. I mean, like I said, you can make this with grits or you can make this with um, fries, broccoli and vegan cheese with a side of grits or um, roasted potatoes. I do have a roasted potato recipe. Um, you can use whatever kind of potatoes you want. Red, golden. Y'all, the recipe is, is the truth and it's potatoes, but the flavor is what really make it pop. So I think I'm going to go ahead and upload that. And I did do um, a trip to the Asian market before we went and got the um, banana blossom as well as some other stuff. Y'all, the, the Asian market markets had um, oyster mushrooms and king oyster mushrooms. That's not what the video about, but that I look okay. I'm gonna have to do a video on that too. But anyway, so y'all, this is what uh oh, this is what it looked like. Y'all, the lighting is um coming through for me right now. So just to let you know, the crunch is there. Um, the flavor, I'm sure, is there. Y'all, tell me what y'all think real quick. 
I need my potatoes to pop. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, the potatoes got to pop because, you know, they don't have no flavor. Lord, we love you. We thank you for the potatoes. But we thank you for giving us the ability to uh, doctor them potatoes up as well because, yeah, we need them to pop. Um, Let me know real quick in the comments. If y'all can get it in quick enough, if I should do the taste test or if y'all want me to get the kids in to do the taste test. Mind you, they're coming from outside, so I may just slip a piece of it in their mouth. But um, if not, I'm going to taste this because um, it smells good and I know it's going to taste good. I know it's going to taste good. But if y'all need somebody else's reactions. Oh, OK, OK, OK. Let me get the kids. So the only thing is I'm just going to have to take y'all with me because I got to see where they are. So my lighting is going to be off, but it's OK. And they're supposed to be in the backyard. See, so children don't listen. Y'all don't mind me because it's getting a little dark in here. I didn't want y'all to just have to stare at the kitchen. Kids, come here, please. Oh, oh lady, she gave us and you ate it? You don't eat from strangers. Come in. Yes. Did you say thank you? Did. did you pray before you ate? I did. Okay, well, God, we thank you. Okay, next time don't do it. I bake and everything, and y'all still had to eat the donuts. Lord, cover my children, Lord. <laughs> Mm, uh, what? Oh, seeing some what? I think I missed something. The fit, the vegan fish. Let me know, cause you know I got y'all. All right, so the kids came in. Unfortunately, they're chewing. Well, oh, okay, I got you. The the fish. Um, but I'm letting them try it. So it's some tartar sauce right here. Now, I'm going to put it in your mouth because I don't trust y'all little hands. Not even to go in your own mouth. Let me just let y'all see this. When you break it, how flake. Child, please. Who? Look at that. Did she say who? Or like she said who? Let me show y'all again. That looks so good. Okay. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Now, y'all tell mommy what y'all think. Who won't talk to one at a time? Who want tartar sauce and who don't? Can we do who both? does not? Who want it? Who want it? Who want it? Who does it? Me, me, me. You want to taste the pea? Yes. Okay, I throw that in the face. trash first. In or, please. Thank you. Hurry up so they get that you taste it. Hurry up. He just took a big bite. Who want to taste some? Me. me. Not get it. With the tartar sauce. Me, me. Tartar sauce. Okay, let me dip these two pieces with tartar sauce. Okay, and tell me what you think. They look good. Okay, so my little judges. Oh, yeah, look. And they taste good. There. Okay. There. Here. Wait, don't try it yet. Try one it. at a time. No, not one at a time, but all together. Look at this piece. Oh, I think That's I got to taste it, too. I'm being great. TJ, you say you want tartar sauce? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, wait, 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 children. So, so, Sean, do you want the sauce or you just want to leave the fish plain? Vegan. I want it with that fish plain. It's so yummy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to taste Okay, baby, wait. I don't know I what you said. You want the dip or no? Okay. All right. One. Your little hands. Get them out your mouth. Let me feed you. One. <laughs> Two, three. Good. Mm. Y'all hear that crunch? I don't know if y'all heard that. Mm. Now that. Mm. Let me so taste that. Are y'all pulling my leg? It's good. <laughs> it's good, man. Let me taste a little thing. That smells good. That smells good. It's good. Wait, 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 wait. It's good. No, that crunch. That's, like, that's so good. Look. Yeah, tartar man. sauce, please. <laughs> yes, and the tartar sauce, good. So Y'all, God forgive me. We do not pray over the food before we had it. God, oh yeah. For the pieces that we already swallowed, please let it bring nourishment to our body and bless the hands that prepared in the name of Jesus. Well, you prepared, huh? Well, yeah. I pray for me too. Uh huh. Don't. 
Has your mother taught you anything? Yeah. Touching the stove. That was, that eat like the rice. Do you like it or what oh, do you I think? It. I, it smell good too. I don't. It's I like good. to smell my food. Good. I wonder this what. Like one this. Out of what. Give it a what out of what. Sure, what are you doing over there? Okay, so they like it. And like I said, I've had this before. All right, y'all. Say bye. 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 Oh, my little tiny baby. Get that ball out of here, girl. Okay. They said bye. So go. Go. Yeah, because they'll <clears throat> they'll stay in pro long all day. And, and that's it. We, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank y'all to everybody that's watching. I really appreciate y'all. This is only the beginning of the videos. If you have a suggestion like um Mr. Trent did. Please drop it in the comment section below. I am going to um, post some facts on banana blossoms as far as like the nutrients and things like that that it provides. I'll post that in the um, description box. I'm going to finish cooking this for them, but I didn't want this to be an hour and a half long video. Make this for them with maybe some fries because kids love fries. And y'all, that's it. That's what I have for y'all today, y'all. This is... Cooking with Mommy, I'm Tashana Nakwa, and y'all, thank you so much for watching today. Please hit the um, subscribe button, y'all, if you have not. Be sure to um, click the notification bell for updates for whenever I post. Yes, we went live today on Thursday, but you should get a not notification from me every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you don't, forgive me. As you can see, I'm a busy mommy and a wife. And um, yeah, so thank y'all so much for um, tuning in. I appreciate y'all. God bless y'all. Y'all have an amazing rest of your evening.